I think the Jets get it by default. And then they end up playing the game of it's Vegas or Dallas, or is it Colorado or is it Minnesota? The maneuverability of the standings makes it just so fascinating to me. And because of Hellebuck and the Jets' craziness, you know, with that skill that they have, if, they, if, if we throw out these last 17 games, as you mentioned, it was going really well. It was going really, really well. So, and you do the Jets games on TSN. I love what you said about 55 Mark Shifley the other night. Like, when did the wheels start to come off? When, when they come off, remember a uh, famous line uh, by Ron Wilson, you know, 18 wheeler off the cliff. Do 18 wheelers as they're going off the cliff, do they ever get saved? Like once they go over, could they land on a better roses? Does it work that way? Like, can, can the Jets salvage the sauce or in your experience, those things don't happen, Craig. They don't happen. I'm an optimist. Okay, I'm an optimist. So, so, so my answer is yes. Can they can, can they salvage it? Yeah, I think they can. I think 54 games this season, they were really good. They were one of the best defensive teams in the league. You know, an area they really improved in. You know, they had Connor Hellebach playing at Vezina Trophy level. The scoring was like 54 games, and then you know you you watch and and you know what ends up happening, Steve. You play two games, ah, we weren't good. And then two games turns into four. And then four turns into six. And you're kind of going, okay, we, we got to get our game in order. Well, they're at 17 games now, and their game isn't in order. I, I have a, I, there's a saying that I use all the time. If winning was easy, everybody would do it. It's hard to win in this league. It's hard to win in any league. I don't care where you're playing. Hard to win. And right now, the details of the Winnipeg Jets game, like, are, are not are not dialed in. They're not dialed in. You know, you heard me talk about uh, Mark Shifley on the broadcast Sunday when they played the uh, St. Louis. The first goal, I mean, uh, I mean, they they should have played twist and shout because Mark Shifley was twisted and twisted and twisted, and he had no idea what was going on around him. It was like you know, five minutes into the game again, not you know, Rick Bonus has talked about it. We're giving up too many goals at the beginning of a game. Well. Mark Shifley, who's, who's, who's got terrific abilities and has shown the, that he can be a superstar in this league, that's not the way to start. And when you look at Shifley not scoring, Kyle Connor not scoring, Blake Wheeler not scoring, you know, it's hard to score, Steve. You know that. They're not getting to where it's hard. They're not, the, the, it's almost like they just said, well, 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 we'll try from out here. Okay, keep trying from out there. You know, the results are in. The results are in. You, you're not getting, you're not having success. You know what it takes to have success. That's why I'm an optimist. It's not like Rick Bonus or the players have to be shown away. They just have to be reminded of the way that got them to where they were in the first 54 games. And maybe because of the tortoise race, if the Jets shed the house on their back, they'll pass the other two teams. 